Hello audience, in today's tutorial I will be teaching you how to create a vignette within within Photoshop CS6. Vignettes are very very easy to do, they're very effective uh, and there's two ways of doing it. Basically what a vignette is, it's more of a black border around the outsides of your video which will create an effect that will sh um, showcase the inner bits of it. So uh, let's begin. Uh, we're going to Photoshop because this is Photoshop CS6, and yeah. Uh, first, we got our our picture, so you get your picture. Um, a vignette is really really nice with a very very light background, and it makes more sense as well because it showcases with it um, within the background itself from the foreground as well as the vignette. So the first way to do it is very very easy. We create a new layer by taking our mouse to the bottom right corner and there's a little icon next to the delete uh, rubbish bin and it's like a turning over page you click it you click that and it will take you to a new layer so you got two layers here uh, then we go to our pa panel on the left and take the el elliptic marquee tool and what we do is we go a couple inches away from the edge so about here right away from the corner sorry and then we click and drag so it makes a marquee if you can't see that uh, you'll see in a minute it'll come up with some like dotted lines if you can't see that then we right click make sure we're on layer 2 here we right click on the outside of the marquee tool and select inverse this will create um, make it so the outer R is is selected within within the marquee tool and the borders. So then we go to our paint bucket, make sure our colour is on black, which it already was. And we left click, oh of course you know how to do that, but this is like a quite in-depth tutorial on something that's very simple. So we left click on the borders so we get kind of that effect and it you'll see is it's like looking through a picture frame like of an oval so what we do there is go back to our moving tool uh, we to remove the lines which is very important because we don't want it moving everywhere All right now we press control and then deselect which is D sorry control D uh, from here and then we go up to filter uh, on the top bar it's next to view and select filter we go down to blur gushing blur and we select a pixel which is nice for you no pixels are just literally the oval at which we're at 70 pic about 70 pixels is normally what I would have it at if you make it trying to get it really effective but if you want to only make a slight background change so it focuses on the inner uh, we go to about 140 to about 180 so in between that I'll do fine 157 0.5 click OK and we got ourselves a nice vignette there is also another way to do it uh, let me show you it's a, it's a more professional looking way and um, it can be used with many different things so we'll just delete that layer which the vignette was on click on layer 1 filter lens correction or shift control R if you fancy and then now we're on, on here custom so at the top bar here you click on custom go down to vignette and the amount you want is the well you can lighten it or darken it it's up to you the middle is just like it's literally in the middle if we lighten it it creates kind of a white vignette around the sides that's good for uh, if you're trying to make out like it's in heaven or something or something very s abnormal and then uh, to drag it down to the bottom we get ourselves a nice vignette but it looks more professional and we can find our midpoint as well so we can put that over to the right of it and it determines whether how far it in is in the, um, the vignette is or how, how far out that's pretty much it from me. Uh, if you like this tutorial, uh, I will create more on Adobe Photoshop CS6. And 
if it's requested enough I will do editing tutorials within Premiere Pro and After Effects so thanks for watching guys and um, yeah go make your vignettes <laughs>